In the last couple of years, my colleague, uh, Tesma, and one of our graduates, Abby Patinas, has gone to a very well-known career as a composer in her own right. And several others have compiled a, a collection of songs, a justice songbook, to be used in community sings, to ask us to think about what type of people do we want to be? How do we want to live together? And as that wonderful song that the boy choir shared, when we sing together, we are not people apart. We are, we are drawn together as long as we sing. And if we can take those lessons out of singing into our lives, we will be better people. And I will give a little public service announcement because on Friday, November 9th, Minnesota Public Radio has been sponsoring big sings, as they call them, around the state. And one will be held here. Mr. Juan is leading one voice, wonderful chorus from the Twin Cities, and chamber choir from Shattuck St. Mary's, and then the audience will become a choir that he will lead. And I hope many of you will join us in Bow Chapel uh, Friday, November 9th. But we want to share one of these uh, wonderful works with you. It's a piece that, um, when I read the words, and it's in your it's in your folders. <clears throat> the words right away drew my attention. We walk in love, united in purpose. We join our hands and lift up one voice. We speak the truth with strength and compassion, resounding with hope, with courage and joy. I'm delighted that the composer, Deanna Witkowski, could be with us. She traveled here arriving very late last night after doing a concert in New York City. And Deanna, will you come and share just a word or two about what motivated you to contribute to this wonderful collection? Will you welcome Deanna Witkowski? Thank you, Dr. Armstrong, and it's an honor to be here today and to hear um, these wonderful singers singing this piece. Um, I wrote this song when Tesfa and Abby Bettinas put out a call for scores for the Justice Choir songbook. And as I told the singers this afternoon, um, I thought this would be an opportunity to write something that, I just wanted to write something that anyone could sing together. Um, and I wanted it to be something positive. So I looked at uh, the text of Lift Every Voice and Sing, and I just started writing down words. Um, I wrote the tune first, and just in about five minutes at the piano. And then I just started um, wanting to have things talking about walking, verbs, like active things that we do, like singing together. Um, and. I've been really privileged with this song to start hearing from communities that have been singing it, which I often don't know. I know as a composer where my music is going. So um, I'm really looking forward to hearing everyone singing it today. And I'm, again, really grateful to be here. So thank you so much. So we are all going to sing this. You get to hear it, the first two verses sung by this wonderful festival chorus. And then I'm going to turn around to y'all. I'm going to get you up on your feet, because these seats get a little bit hard after a while. And you sing, sing whatever you can sing. If you can sing one of the harmony parts, that's great. If not, just sing in unison, but sing. And think about the words you're singing, because they are a wonderful roadmap for how our lives should be. <laughs> 